Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the instant. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Berrios now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. On first down, Tunga Bailoa flush to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. Looking to pass. Tua. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And that is incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, you think about it, though, that interception, great for his stats, but bad for field position. It was fourth down. Yeah, terrific observation. If there is going to be a silver lining, and this is what he'll plead when it comes time to watch it again, hey, it was just like a punt, right? So we end up taking possession of the ball. But you're exactly right about it. Should have slapped it down. Field position would be better for his offense. But how many times do you get a chance to make an interception that you turn it down? That's when your instinct kicks in and you take the football. In this case, a better decision would have been to knock the ball down. Now a second and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, 66 yards. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Here's Bass now for the extra point. jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away.
Berrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Two and now on first down. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. Two yards on the pickup there. And it's second down. Up the middle they go with Moster. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. And you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. 39 yards there, a big one. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second down, here's Mostert again. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 41 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Mostert is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll run with Mostert, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Here's Tua. Touchdown! Braxton Berrios from four yards out, and the Dolphins are back within a score. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now, after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Now Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Throwing now is Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Now a guy who played his high school ball at Miami Central, it's James Cook. Well, I'm not quite sure how he got away from that first tackler, but he won't even be able to get it back to the line of scrimmage there as the defense rallies behind him. Because his primary job is defending against the pass, you don't often see a cornerback making tackles in the backfield. 
but he's playing run all the way here. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Allen. And complete right side to Cook. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Berrios now from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Tua sets up to pass it. And going deep for Hill. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So after the INT, it's Allen. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Through the middle of the field. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bills have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Berrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after... Oh, and two are going to be intercepted for the third time. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40.